Article 20. Freedom of Association 1. Everyone has the right to freedom of peaceful assembly and association. 2. No one may be compelled to belong to an association. Freedom of speech goes hand in hand with freedom of association. If you can't express your political opinion, if you can't meet with your fellow demonstrators or freedom fighters because of financial surveillance, then you are stripped from political power. If your activism endangers the authoritarian powers, then they cut you off from your bank account. This happened in Nigeria during the end SARS movement, which started in October 2020. The demonstrations against police brutality were supported by the Nigerian Feminist Coalition. They collected donations via their bank account and gave food, drinks and other needed support to the demonstrators, but not for long. The country's central bank cut off their bank account. But the women remembered Bitcoin the technology that works without banks. Tech-savvy as they were, they set up a BTC Pay server instance and started collecting donations in Bitcoin from all over the world. Yeah, this is the real use case because exactly. especially myself and my co-founders, we had previously spoken about how, okay, Bitcoin is really good because, you know, your government might shut you down or things like that. But before it was all sort of theoretical and it was only yeah. within like the last mm -hmm. month they were like, oh, we're actually living through this. This, all this stuff that we've been saying is actually true. <laughs> and yeah, we should actually be putting up a lot of our money or at least enough that you can um, survive or something in something like this where you can control it. How Bitcoin fixes freedom of association. Bitcoin's privacy and uncensorability enables people to cooperate against dictatorships. You simply can't freeze a Bitcoin account because there are no accounts. As long as you self-custody your keys, no one can take your money away from you.